The tail of the dragon is one of the most dangerous roads ever created. US-129 has 318 hairpin curves in just 11 miles in the East Tennessee area, and I'm doing this for the very first time. Professional race car drivers and all automobile enthusiasts traverse this highway every week, and you can see sport bike riders carving up the roads at breakneck speeds, throwing their bikes into curves like madmen. A quick Google search about the Dragon will show you plenty of people who have crashed their cars or went down in their bikes. So how did I as a first time end up riding the tail of the Dragon at night? My last day of work as a high school teacher is always a difficult one. But one thing that I always think about is what type of riding I'll be able to do as soon as the summer breaks. And this time, I'm heading to the tail of the dragon, a bucket list ride for me as I've heard stories of how wild and dangerous it can be. So I start planning to take the 9 hour and 30 minute ride from New Orleans to Teleco Plains, Tennessee to see if I can slay the infamous dragon. And the day started off just like any other with a smooth and breezy ride across the Twin Span Bridge up through Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia. And as the day progressed, I pushed all the way up to Knoxville, Tennessee, where I would sleep for the evening and meet up with some friends to show me around. Hey man, first of all, introduce yourself to the people. Hey, Taz Knoxville. We about to do some top secret riding around here you know it's nothing but flat ground where i stay at so anytime i get a chance to ride on hills valleys mountains because i know they're gonna take care of your boy hey, so it's about to be a good peace ride. out whenever i'm in a new area i always ask friends what's great to see and visit and explore and of course where are the great roads and i'm glad my boy taz answered the bat signal we will ride for a bit down to maryville to meet up with another friend hurt and his wife to continue on our ride. Last night, how you ride? You know what I'm saying? What you yeah. Do? Uh, we're gonna hit the curves. We're gonna hit uh, Ball River Falls. I don't know if you heard of it. We went there. I, I don't know I nothing. Years. I just want you look. I'm I'm I'm, I'm y'all the tour guide. Y'all the tour guide. As we rolled out, I couldn't contain my excitement as I was happier than Kim Kardashian with a new boyfriend. We would be able to get to do all of these great rides before much of the weekend traffic comes in. Well, got a problem. Doggone voltage. I asked them people to check and change my stuff. After watching my voltage drop, we made a U-turn back to the dealership to get the bike checked out. Appreciate my, my brother going ahead and getting me over to the service department. Hopefully it ain't nothing. Man, it's something. There's something that I made. As we waited on the bike to get diagnosed, we took a walk around the dealership and I was taken aback at how awesome the staff was. The Josh took me on a personal tour of the facility. Yeah. <laughs> Now, man, we keep our motorcycles up front. We got a lot of space. This is an old Lowe's building, mm -hmm. so we've actually outgrown it a couple of times. You'll see when we get outside, we've actually had to add a couple of warehouses to it. We do our own, you know, in-house riding academy, all that kind of stuff. I was able to see older bikes and memorabilia, as well as some of the special projects that they were working on around the building. There was a place for us to sit and eat, and that also helped pass us time. I was able to go into the service department to get an update on how the bike was doing as well. Guys, you failing? Okay. What color was it? I don't know why it burned. I mean, you said it, it was changed recently. Yeah, it was uh, in that one right there. Yeah. Mm. All right, baby, we ready to roll, baby. Look, got the bike back, holding that, that in this island at, at 14. At look. And then. If we got it, we gonna roll. Okay. And before you know it, my bike was done and we were ready to roll again. My biggest concern was that we weren't going to be able to complete the rides in time. But Herc and Tez assured me that we had enough daylight to do so. You can see mountains way in the back, y'all. Way in the back. 
we started cruising further and further away from Maryville, Tennessee, and we would eventually ran closer to the mountains. We would soon take the entrance that leads us to the Churahola Skyway. The Skyway is a 43 mile national scenic byway that connects Teleco Plains, Tennessee to Robbinsville, North Carolina. And as we rode through the national forest, I was amazed to see how nature was preserved and how lush and green everything was. The rivers ran beside me like an Olympic splinter competing for gold and the air smelled fresher than cookies right out of the oven. My eyes darted back and forth, taking it all in before I ran oh, into snap. the most breathtaking sight of the day. Shit, y'all. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. When I say beautiful, that's beautiful, y'all. I mean, that's just like gorgeous. Ball Rivers in the, uh, the Cherry Hall of Skyway. I ain't even want to turn the joker. Oh, look. <laughs> I see. I said, forget the battery. I'm about to just let it run. <laughs> Man, man, look, y'all. You talking about beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Leaving Ball River Falls, I'm just a little bit emotional as that is something that you don't get a chance to see every day. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Look at this, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Man, nothing but good. <laughs> look who it is, man. My brother, look who it is right there. The, What's the, up, people? The, the Peace Army the, in the, the house. No, no, no. The owner of the biggest little. The biggest little YouTube channel. On the entire interwebs, 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 baby, yes, baby. sir. On Woo. the entire interwebs. He but ain't playing no game, the man. Army, damn it. Yeah, yes, sir. What that was we just did or came off? Of? So that. So that, so that was all. Of, God. That was going to get on 129. And Ooh. That's right. Dear, <laughs> we, we, I'm gonna tell Ted to make sure we go at a slow pace on here. Okay. Yep. I gotta, I gotta take, get that, uh, get that picture. took off from what would be our very last gas stop, the temps in the sun started dropping faster like holding a hot pan with no gloves. I was still concerned whether we'd make it through the tail of the dragon before sundown. I was nervous. The curve started coming up on me faster than a roller coaster at Six Flags, and my body tensed up a bit. I would soon be notified about how dangerous this ride would be with signs saying that this is a high crash area. But I have no choice but to do battle with the dragon. I scraped a few pegs and sharpened my weapon of choice, which would be my road glide. Bessie, as she's called, has led me into battle many times, but this time was a bit different. She was wounded from early in the day, and I had to be cautious as to not push her too hard. And as the sun dropped behind the trees lining the highway, the daylight started evaporating faster than water on hot concrete. And the dragon's tail had whipped me and my buddies back and forth causing us to throw and lean our bikes harder than ever to keep them steady. I kept my eyes focused as a sharp corner sliced at my mental. I started to have my doubts. Could I really defeat this monster that has claimed so many? I was already at a disadvantage with my bike not being 100% and daylight nearly gone. But then I remember something. I am GQ, the leader of the Peace Army. And with that in mind, knowing I have many people that ride with me daily, they ride with me mentally, and they ride with me spiritually. And most of all, the memory of my late mom covers me like a shield, 
and everything that the dragon threw at me, I deflected right back at it. The darkness tried to smother me like a pork chop, but the bright lights from my headlight caused the dragon to rear back and hiss at me. He shot flames from his mouth in the form of oncoming traffic that I dodged swiftly along the road. Nothing could stop me at this point. No amount of curves, no amount of potholes, no amount of cliffs could deny me what's rightfully mine. And as we came upon the last few miles, I see the dragon getting weaker and weaker each foot I travel on this highway. The curves become less and less sharp. I've done it. I have slayed the dragon. And with his head in tow, I head back to Knoxville, proud of myself and proud of the Peace Army. And as I look alongside the lake where the body of the dragon lays to rest, I have this thought. Never put limitations on yourself. The only one who can stop you is you. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And check out my playlist here for more of my adventures. And this is GQ, the leader of the Peace Army, telling you guys to be safe, be cool, and most importantly, be you. Peace.